Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we can discuss about Urdu 15 planning. Planning plays a vital role in every business. So it is very important for the planning function to have a direct connection with the functions of the company. So here the planning module helps to plan the project and the activities that aims at fulfilling the goals of the organization. Now let's have a look at the features and the functions of the module. So by opening the module, you can view the schedules of the employees uh, in the calendar form. So by selecting this, we can view the schedules of the employees. And here we can view the schedules according to the day, week, month and year. And if the work is done in a systematic way, you can select the copy previous option. So it is to copy the previous schedule of the calendar. And here we have the option to publish the schedules of the employees. And here we have the plan order option. Apart from this, you can view the window according to the gun view, calendar view, list view and in the Kanban view. And here we have the filtering options and you can also group it according to options like uh, department resource role, sales order, sale order items, etc. And here we, we can schedule a uh, schedule the resource of the employees by choosing the add icon option before that we can go to the configuration settings so here we have the option to enable the allow unassignment in the planning section so we can enable this to uh, let the employees unassign themselves from shift pen and unavailable and here we can set the deadline for that so we can save this before leaving the page now let's comes to the resources so the resources can be selected while creating new schedules. So it helps the employees to understand the uh, resource on which he will be working up during his assigned schedule. So to create new resources, you can uh, click on the create icon and here in this row, you can provide the resources. Now let's move on to the roles. Uh, the role help to clearly understand their job and work they should be taking on the basis of their roles. So the work can be assigned to the employees according to their assigned roles. So in this window, you can see the list of roles, resources, services and the color representation given to the roles. So now we can create a new role. We can provide the resources and here we can set the services. And also we can choose the color for the role and can save this. So here we can see the newly created role. Now let's come to the shift template. So here we can see the uh, shift in hours, the role, project and the task. Now let's create a new shift template. So for that we can provide the role and here we can set the project and the task. And here we can set the start hour and the duration so we can save this so here we can see the newly created shift template now let's add new schedules to the calendar for that goes to the schedule by resource so you can click on the create icon and here we can select the shift of the schedule 
So after selecting the shift, can see that the details is auto allocated. Can, uh, can see the resource, role, project, task, date, allocated time and percentage, allocated hours and the company name is auto filled. And here we can select the sales order item. And here we have the option to enable the repeat. So here we can enable the repeat option. If the creating schedule must be repeated at certain interval. So after enabling this, you can select the intervals based on the number of weeks. And here we can enable the save as template option to save the creating schedule as a template. And here we have the option to enter the additional node. So after creating the schedule, you can save it using the save button. And here we have the option to publish it. And if you need to send the schedule as well as to publish it, you can click on the publish and send button. So you can see that the shift was successfully saved as a template. So in the same way, we can create and add schedules by role, project and by sales order. Now let's move on to my planning. So the employee can view their schedules all from this window. Here the schedule is displayed along with, the, with their details. So an employee will receive the proper information of the published schedules and also we can ensure that none of the workings are overlapping. So at the bottom we can view the total number of shift you have on each day. And here you can see the open shift. Uh, if in any cases, if the employee fails to complete his work, he can jump into the shift and finish the activity. So such shift are called open shift. Now let's move on to the reporting section and here we have the planning analysis. So the report based on hours per resource is displayed here. Here you can see the total allocated hours of every employee and the hours of each of them in different months. So here you can add different measures like allocated hours, allocated hull, uh, time in percentage, effective hours, number of working days and progress and here we have many customizable features like filters, group buy and favorites and also you can view the window according to keyboard view, graph view, gone view, list view and also in the Kanban view and it is also possible to copy the report uh, into this excel or spreadsheet So we have been discussing about the features of Odo 15 planning. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.